my friend, my friend, Janice Ian, where are you now? This song was stuck in my brain all of my childhood. Now that I know the name, I don't think I'm gonna ever stop playing it. We have a C major, D minor. We're gonna have an E minor, <laughs> F major, a G major, A minor, B diminished, and then back to C. Now, those are all the seven chords based off of C major. No sharps, no flats, or A minor. However, we're going to play this chord, just the D note up top over the top of a C, E, and a G, is a C9. <clears throat> More importantly, it's a C add 9, because we're not using the flat 7 in here, which would constitute us having the flat 7 and the 9. That would be called a C9. So, the second chord we're going to play is a C major 7, which is outside the pocket, utilizing the B note, the major 7th, over the top of a triad. A C6, as you know, is the same as an A minor 7. When we play a D sus4, we're going to add the G as the fourth note of D is G, D, E, F sharp, G. When we play a D minor and then remove our first finger off that to reveal the E, that, yes, is going to be our D sus2 because it functions the same way. An E flat major looks like a D major, but it's at the third fret barring all three of the bottom strings and then playing one finger up top or barring it, B-A-R-R-E, whatever is your fancy flavor. D minor, our standard, is built off of playing its relative major F, dropping the D note and putting down a C gives us a beautiful D minor 7. <clears throat> the only chords that are outside of the pocket of this song are... A big old bar across the third fret. Everyone here is probably used to seeing it as a B minor 7. Well, this is a B sharp minor 7, known as a C minor 7. When we play an F minor, we're simply taking the major F, F, A, C, dropping down, and then replacing our fingers so it's not so awkward to do that and hold the C. That's how it should be played. <clears throat> and you should pinky it because skipping a finger and skipping a fret should make sense. Here we're going to go real slow. Follow along with me. I really hope you dig this song. And I hope I do it justice. I learned the truth at 17 that love was meant for beauty queens and high school girls with Skin smiles who married young, then then retired. <clears throat> well, it repeats, so let's explain that. It's C add nine to C major to C major seven to C six D sus four to D minor, to D sus2, to D minor, to G7. We're gonna play back at the fifth fret, pinky for C add nine, and follow that mechanism down. It repeats over. I'm gonna play a little faster with the next part. <clears throat> the Valentines I never knew. Here we go. One, two, three. The Valentines I never knew. The Friday night charades of youth were spent on one more beautiful. <clears throat> Seventeen, I learned the truth. Here's where it gets really cool. The chorus is going to go to that E flat major and those D, G over the top. Those and those of us with ravaging faces. D minor seven lacking the uh, G seven social grace. C minor seven desperate to remain. F minor back and forth at home inventing the blues on the phone. They call to say G seven coming down. Minor seven, murmur vague obscenities. Whenever you see the C minor seven, we're gonna be hitting that F minor. Now there is a walk down that's not in this book. So you're gonna take your F minor seven up here. You're gonna remove your finger and put it on the B flat and reveal the E. And then you're gonna drop down to your D minor seven. And it all seems G7 at 17. Everything 
I sing today is turning into Neil Diamond. I apologize. <laughs> we'll try not to get as far as like Wayne Newton. Yeah. All right. And then it goes back up for the second verse. Second verse is a brown, a brown eyed girl in hand me down whose name I never could pronounce. Said, Pity please for the one. So, second verse, same as the first. When you get through with the second verse, it goes up and does an instrumental jam. Now, it doesn't go as far as doing it twice, so it only does it one time. So start yourself on page 46 in the middle of the phrasing, if you can, <clears throat> at measure, I don't know, 12 or 16 or something. So then it goes through the groove, the E flat, to the D minor 7, G7, to the C minor 7, F minor, C minor 7, back and forth. Second time he does that same C minor 7 to a G7, F minor. G7, C minor 7, F minor. Here comes that weird D minor 7, G7. Awesome. Honestly, the G7 is acting as a B diminished to get back to our C. Then we're going to jump up for the end of the song. It does the last time through. Goes through and then it takes the outro. Ends, I think, on a <clears throat> C6 or a C, C major 7 would make sense. It's very appropriate for ending a song. I hope you dig the song. I really enjoyed playing it. If you have any questions about it, put it in the comment section. I will get to you. Other than that, have a great day.